Hello everybody, it's Aliyah. Welcome back to my channel for another reading. Today's reading is going to be, will you reconcile with your person? So this reading is for those in separation, of course. Um, will you reconcile or is it really over? I have three piles once again. Pile one is going to be Malachite. Pile two is going to be um, Citrine. And pile three is Rose Quartz. Think about your person, focus on your person, and if you do need to pop, to pause the video please go ahead and do so think about your person and choose the pile that you're drawn to from your heart chakra i'll give you guys a moment and we're going to get started with the pile one okay guys let's start with pile one welcome pile one Okay, Malachite. So let's see what we have. From the tarot, we have Six of Wands. We have the Hermit. We have the Two of Wands. We have Five of Swords. Nine of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Devil. Okay. And then from the, the Hidden Truth Oracle, this is from All Things Intuitive, we have these are the messages. I knew exactly what I was doing. Make sure everything is in frame. I feel you leaving me behind. Actually, let me put it here. I don't think there's enough room for everything. Sorry, let me just move things around here. Okay, and then we have, it's time for me to heal now. Okay, then from the Romance Angel we have uh, angels we have you deserve love and we have true love okay let's look at the cards here just get the energies okay so what I'm getting here in the past you might have felt you found your true love you know, you were over the moon with the Six of Wands, feeling very victorious, uh, very happy. You were, you felt like you were on top of the world. You felt you, you, you found your true love. Um, you, you know, just like the card says, this is the romance of a lifetime, and this is essentially how you felt about your person. And um, so, yeah. You could have also put them on a pedestal. Maybe this was a dream come true. You thought of them as the one. And um, you thought highly of them, quite possibly as well. In the present right now, we have the hermit. And the hermit stands for basically withdrawal. Either you or your person or both of you, you could have withdrawn from one another. Of course, this reading is about in separation, but I don't think you're interacting much. I don't think there's much communication between your person um, at this rate. You don't know what's going on with your person. They have completely withdrawn from your life. And um, your person's current situation, we have the two of wands, which is essentially being at a crossroads, not knowing which way to go. So your person is really not knowing where they want to go. Um, they have to make some decisions in their life. It's just not about, not only about love, but maybe different areas of their life. So yeah, the two of wands, they're not, they are, they don't know what to do. They have to make a, a lot of decisions. Maybe they're, they're stagnant. Their life is not moving forward and they have to make some decisions. How does your, your ex, how does your person feel about you? We have the five of swords. Five of Swords is not a very positive card. It's about a card of, of betrayal. 
it's a, it's also a selfish cause. Somebody within at the expense of somebody else. It could be also maybe um, you did a 180 on your person and you could have ended the relationship for some of you because the Five of Swords is feeling defeated or feeling cheated somehow. Um, so either they, you put a fast one on them, maybe they thought they had you all figured out. They thought maybe that you're always going to be around them. And um, they, they didn't see it coming. So how they feel right now, your person is feeling maybe betrayed a little bit as well. Um, I feel like this person you're dealing with, it, it's not easy for them to admit that they did wrong. I think they're always in the blame, uh, you know, they're always in trying to blame somebody else for their mistakes. So they never take responsibility for the part they played in it. I feel like your person is angry at you. Maybe they have no right to be angry. But, um, and that's, I think that's why we have this, this card too, is what your person wants to tell you. I feel you leave it, leaving me behind. Maybe you just left them behind. I think you just made that that decision just to to leave them and with the six of swords you could have moved away as well or simply you could have just moved on to something else just okay so um yeah i felt i feel like maybe your person never thought you're going to leave them especially because you saw them as the six of wands you saw them as true love and um I feel like you were taken for granted here, but once you moved away or you just you just decided not to to do this anymore, I think they were just they, they were in for a rude awakening and they are angry regarding what could have happened. Um, somehow they feel cheated. They could have also possibly, I really feel regardless how they feel, I think you're the person, you're the one, you're the viewer that was wronged in this connection. That's why I feel. I really feel like you were wrong in this connection. And you're the one who has every right to be angry. But I think that your person really has a hard time finding fault uh, with themselves or admitting fault. Admitting that they're sorry that they, they did wrong. It's always somebody else's fault, but not so much their fault. That's what I'm getting for Prime One for you guys. Um, how does your person feel about reconciling um, with you, the Nine of Swords? Your person thinks maybe this is not going to happen because they're kind of worried about it. Maybe they think that you have already moved on with your life. They think that this might not happen. Um, yeah, because this is a very fearful energy, the Nine of, nine of Swords. Is just not knowing what you know what's gonna happen, expecting the worst. So maybe because you have moved on, or they really think it's over somehow. You're not gonna, things have changed. You're not willing to put up with things that they you once did, and this does create them anxiety so this is really essentially a fear anxiety card how do they feel about reconciling they're really scared of reconciling because they think maybe it's you know that's not what you want or um it's not going it's not going to be it's not going to happen maybe it's too late and um what can you do to help this situation well we have the six of swords six of swords is about move on if you can move on if if you don't want to move on try to smooth uh, whatever fight whatever thing happened between you guys because quite possibly you would have you might have ended on bad terms and maybe just because the six of swords could either it can mean moving on from something or it could mean also fixing the situation going from rough waters to calmer waters so it's up to you what you want to do with this connection because it i really feel what i get here from this energy is that you might need to move on from your person and will you reconcile this is the final outcome we have the devil the devil is not a positive it's usually it's indicative of a no it does not look like it's going to happen anytime soon maybe maybe um, not ever the devil is really it's it's a negative answer 
and here what the messages we have from your person is that I knew exactly what I was doing so if your person hurt you it's or um, you got hurt in this connection because of them they knew exactly what they were doing I don't think that your person was just it was unintentional it was victim of circumstances maybe your person simply is really in, is is not ready for relationship maybe they're just very immature as well you know maybe you met them at the wrong time meaning that they weren't ready they weren't mature enough to handle a, a, a relationship so I think they they just took you for granted and they knew that that's what they were doing I feel like you're leaving me behind. Well, I think you already moved on. Most of you that are watching group one, I feel like you've already moved on. And really, your person, it's time for them to heal here. Um, maybe this relationship has... I think you might have triggered your person to really... Even though it's very hard for them to admit something is wrong, or they've done wrong, or... Because even though they, they know what they, they've done because of, of this message here, I knew exactly what I was doing. At the same time, they're not willing to take responsibility for their actions. They, they're in the blaming game. So they're like, it's your fault somehow, even though they did what they did. It's illogical, but that's, what, that's the energy that I'm getting. It's somebody who's really immature. That's what it comes down to, lack of maturity and they have a lot of healing to do. So I would say for now, the reconciling, uh, reconciling part is maybe a no at this point because I feel like your person is not ready. It's time for them to heal. If you want, it is up to you if you wanna go back there again because you, you do have a chance to smooth things over but nothing would have changed. You're still gonna be the one who does 80% and perhaps they'll be given 20 in the relationship so it's up to you if you're willing to live with that or not because you can go back that is up to you but if you don't go back it's not going to happen because I feel like your person is not going to take any action because they're in the blame type of uh, mentality with the five of swords and the nine of swords they're very much in their head regarding you, but it's not pleasant. It's bitter. That's what I'm getting. And you just have to know for yourself if you really deserve love. You have to know that you deserve love so you can really attract the love that you want. Maybe you thought of, of, of them as a one time that they were your true love, but it didn't work out that way, but it's okay. Don't stop don't stop believing in love because it's it's there for you you just like in this picture is that with the archer here the way the arrow is pointing to the future so if you want a better relationship you might consider moving on from your person because maybe it is not the best um, environment for you i feel like uh, group one if you do resonate with this group because if it doesn't then choose another group but for those of you that resonate with this group i really feel like this is a toxic situation toxic relationship because your person is just lacks immaturity lacks maturity and it it's not giving you what your person is not giving you what you want it's not what you're looking for at this time in your life but it's really entirely up to you if you can go back you can reconcile but you're gonna have to they're not gonna meet you halfway you're going to have to do the whole thing. You have to go out there and grovel and beg because, because uh, your person is really in a negative space right now. So I don't see you reconciling, reconciling with them, meaning them want to reconcile with you, meeting you halfway and this will happen. I don't see it because I really feel like your person, you're dealing with a, a selfish person. Maybe very few of you, maybe um, a narcissist even or has narcissistic traits or just plain immature they don't have to be a psychopath sociopath or narcissist it can just be very immature they weren't ready for um a grown-up a real relationship okay group one thank you so much for watching if you did like the reading please like comment and subscribe and if you didn't like the reading i'm very sorry please choose another group it just means if 
the reading didn't resonate with you it just means that these messages weren't for you this week okay thank you very much until next time Okay, let's group two. We have the citrine. Just put these candles a little bit further out. Give me more space. Okay, so from the tail we have, no, oh, these, these are backwards. We have the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. the devil, the empress, the chariot, and from the hidden truth oracle we have so many things remind me of you. I wonder if you are happy without me. I hid who I really am from you. Okay, and then from the Romance Angels, we have Romantic Feelings, Religious Factors. Okay, so right here, what's really screaming at me here is that there's a lot of love between you guys. Regardless if you're in separation, there's a lot of love. Your past history, Ace of Cups. Well, I mean, I don't need to, <laughs> to say anything further. There was a lot of love between you guys. Uh, I feel like the, the feelings here are very much mutual, okay? It's not one-sided with romantic feelings here. So, I think there's, a, that's all I could say, a lot of love between you, you guys in the past. And I, I still think there's love there because it, it hasn't ended. Regardless if you guys are separated. You're present right now. Maybe you still have some sort of friendship. You're still talking um, with the Ace of Wands. Maybe you're not completely, entirely in separation because Ace of Wands is like friendship. It can mean that you guys even have once in a while you see each other. Um, because Ace of Wands is also passion. So you could be like on and off, on and off, quite possibly. Because you, you have this amazing chemistry and passion and you're always drawn to one another. I don't think that you have completely cut ties with your person or they haven't cut ties with you. I think that once or twice you guys still see each other. For most of you, and some of you just, you guys want this ace of wands, which is you want to come back together again. And you, you, uh, your person's current situation, the four of cups, your person is not doing very well. Your, pers your person is grieving you. Just like it's depict to, depicted in this tarot uh, card. See how this person is just drinking and is at the bar. I really feel like your person is not happy. Might be even depressed. Disappointed. Just disenchanted with the whole situation. Not liking very much the um, separation. Um... How does your person feel about you? Well, your person, I, I feel with the Knight of Pentacles, it's rather positive. I feel like your person really wants to give you... For me, the Knight of Pentacles is the Knight in Shining Armor. Wants to be your Knight in Shining Armor. Wants to come to you. Wants to offer you something. Wants to be committed with uh, to you. Wants to get back together, I feel wants to do like give you that do that romantic gesture that grand gesture how do they feel about you i really feel like your person loves you still loves you how does your person feel about reconciling uh, we have the devil very afraid maybe afraid that can happen or afraid that it's not going to work out maybe because you guys have you have a lot of love between each other, but you are very, very um, bonded as well. Afraid that it might not happen. Maybe afraid that's not what you want. Or maybe afraid that you may be already in another relationship 
that you're trapped, that you can't go back with them, you can't reconcile. You could also be feeling this way. Okay. And what can you do to help the situation? The Empress. The Empress is all about growth and expansion. It's about nurturing, being there for that person, being love, loving, gentle, emotional, being warm, showing them, show your person love, show them that you still care. That's what you can do if you really re want to reconcile with your person. Show them you still have feelings for them, that you still want them that you want to grow with them, you want to get back together and grow together. Be warm again in case you just shut down. And the outcome, will you reconcile? I would say yes, the chariot is a rather positive card. There's still, there's still an element of decision that has to be made because in this card is this way or the other way. So it's like a decision uh, that has to be made, but I feel like yes. I feel like there's a lot of love in this connection. Maybe the reason why you broke up in the first place, maybe your families didn't get along. It could be also different religions or even just different values, not necessarily religions. It could be maybe one of you is atheist. Maybe one of you is religious. One of you is, or it's just the way you, you are bringing does kind of like affect how you view relationships and where the relationships go and how to raise children so you maybe you are two different people with different ideas how a relationship should be and i think maybe that is the reason why you guys separated for some of you it could be as simple as religion maybe different religions christian muslim kind of thing just an example hindu muslim just some sort of example but it could be that it could be also um different social class economic and social classes as well for some of you it just to me religious factors is it's always a card that makes it reminds me of just different values sets of values and um, and it's usually those values are instilled in us from childhood and sometimes you just if you had a different upbringing you're not going to see eye to eye on on a lot of things romantic feelings as i said your person still loves you very much it just I feel, just feel like your person feels trapped, maybe either you or them or both of you are trapped and you're not able to reconcile at this moment. I don't know what is trapping you guys, but maybe it could be just fear, it could be just in your head or in your person's head. But what you can do is really being positive. The Empress is about being nurturing, open, um, just... A very it's a very positive card it just embody this empress and uh, i think that if show them that you love them i think that if they dis, if they do see that you still care that you still love them they're gonna come around yeah because i don't think that you guys broke up because for the lack of love i don't feel it not for group two because i think it's there and the passion is there i think maybe you just had too much interference as well too many interference could be from family members, maybe opposing to the relationship. If, uh, what comes to mind, maybe a mother that doesn't agree with the relationship. Could be. And for very, very few of you, what just came to mind, you may be in third party and your person has to make that choice. That choice maybe between you and the spouse and they do want to come back, so, and, um, but they feel trapped at the same time. They don't know what to do. Maybe they feel trapped because of obligations, but in, in either way, it doesn't matter the, the circumstances. The main message you have to take from this reading group too is that your person loves you. Your person wants to come back with you. Your person is not doing very well without you. So that's, that's the main messages, regardless of the circumstances. And then, um, your person is reminded very much of wherever you he go he or she goes um they're reminded of you music maybe where they see your name or they hear your name that kind of thing and wonders if you're really happy without them because clearly they're not happy without you so you they're very much you are very much on their mind 
and maybe they didn't show you the their their whole selves their whole self with you i hid who i really am from you so maybe there's aspects of your person that you're not aware of you don't even know maybe there was a time you didn't feel love uh, you didn't feel loved by them because they did wear a mask maybe that is why we're getting this card Maybe they never expressed to how much you truly mean to them. So, and that's the reason why you, you just, you don't know. You don't know where you stood with them. So yeah, group two, I feel like, yes, it's not over. You're going to reconcile with your person. And uh, for those of you who just broke up and you want to know if you're going to see your person, yes, you're going to reconcile. You're going to see your person. It's not over. Okay. Thank you very much, Group 2. If you like the reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Until next time. Okay, Group 3. We have Rose Quartz. Okay, so let's see. First card, we have Life Renewed. Second card, we have Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups. The Magician, Six of Pentacles, The Strength, Ace of Pentacles, and then from uh, All Things Intuitive we have, I remember every detail of that day. I wish things could be different. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Okay, so from the Romance Angels, we have Wedding. This situation involves marriage, playfulness. Okay, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so group three. Um, what came to mind as I was laying the cards is that some of you are dealing with third party. You're dealing with somebody who already has a family, who's already married, okay? The Ten of Cups here and the wedding, the card here from the Romance Angels. So I feel like this is a third party. Maybe your person has, uh, and also with the Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords can indicate also an affair. I feel when you met them, maybe they were separated. Uh, I have a couple scenarios, so just guys, just bear with me. So the, that scenario about the third party, so they could either be separated and they went back with their with their spouse or their whatever, their long-term partner. Um, you could have also, when you met them, you could have also, you could also be married. And when you met them, you felt a sense of renewal. I really feel, um, with this card, I feel like you felt this sense of renewal and maybe you you were in an unhappy relationship, marriage, and when you met this person, this person was a, fresh, a, breath, uh, a breath of fresh air and almost like a distraction for you. Maybe at first you weren't too serious with, with them. Maybe you just thought they're fun, you were flirting, Say, I know I was a distraction from your pain. You were going through some pain and I feel like this person comes. The magician, very charming, good looking. Um, it was something new and it just brought you back to life with the, with the judgment card here. You felt back to life. And um, so I don't know what could have happened, but things, of course, they're never that simple. They can go from playfulness flirting and all that it can be something to something very serious and uh, so yeah uh, so if you're not dealing with a third party it could just simply means maybe you were in a lot of pain you came out of, of a bad relationship or you are in a relationship even though they're not attached or it could be uh, this pain could mean also um, maybe a bad just bad experience in general. Maybe you didn't believe in love and you meet this person and you had the time of your life 
with playfulness here and they were so charming and good looking and everything you were looking for in a person and you found it with them but with the seven of swords because the seven of swords if it's not a, a you know the the affair card it's also a card of somebody who does not who's, who kind of wears a mask does not reveal their true selves who hides from things and from people who's not authentic or at least not you know they're just hiding they don't want to be vulnerable so they would rather wear a mask but i really feel group three regardless of the situation when you met your person you just you you find you you felt this renewal of course it didn't last but that's how you felt and um maybe you didn't even believe in love and here comes mr charming here the magician and things have completely changed for you so so that's for your past and then your present right now it's still you don't know things are up in the air you don't know where where you stand maybe your person if they are in a relationship they're back with their person or their spouse quite possibly so i feel like for like most of you of course in this reading is about reconciling so most of you are in separation or you could be not, not completely in separation but back and forth kind of thing um how they're doing right now what is your person's current situation with we have the ten of cups ten of cups is a rather positive card so your person is not doing very bad i think they're very busy with the family because it's a family card so either their family or like their spouse and kids or they could be their immediate family meaning their siblings their parents that kind of thing i think your person right now is really focused on their family and spending time with family could be also and um how does your person feel about you the magician well the magician is you see them as everything that you've ever wanted in one person and how do they feel about you i feel like the magician is a very passionate card i feel like your person has a lot of passion a lot of chemistry with you um they're just they're very much attracted to you i don't see this card as necessarily like a feeling type of card i feel more like that intense passion i think that's how they feel towards you How does your person feel about reconcil reconciliation? Uh, Six of Pentacles, they're open to it, definitely. They want to reconcile with you. Yeah, they want this back again. I don't think that they want to... I don't think they see you out of their life, that's for sure. And what can you do to help the situation? We have the strength. So the strength is about patience. It's about being uh, gentle loving and patient and also being in control so don't throw yourself at them just be patient be in control of your emotion of your emotions don't be like uh, swept away by the passion and and beg them to come back and that kind of thing because the strength is about exercising self-control and also being gentle kind and open and patient because I feel like your person is really wants to come back into your life because this is the outcome card and we have the ace of pentacles so yes if you reconcile with your person yes it's not over you're going to reconcile with your person and I feel like it, it's your person who that's going to take that that um, that action it, it's your person who's going to take the action that's what I'm trying to say not you I think you have to be just just wait if you still want this connection you just need to wait for your person to to come back into your life which i see they will okay and for some of you if you're not involved in third party maybe just family just being in your business and other people interfering i feel like for some of you might even get engaged and even marry your person because with the ace of pentacles this is a serious if they come around it's not going to be um up in the air it's something very serious okay the ace of pentacles it's really tangible it's a serious commitment it's not like wishy-washy that's what that's what i'm trying to get at if it's not a wedding it's a serious commitment okay um 
And if you're dealing with a third party, your person is in a relationship, they still want this. They want they want to come back. They want to come back and maybe offer you something. Well, this is we're not doing the reading about what's going on in their life in case uh, this is a third party. But the only thing is, are you going to we're only answering the question if you're going to reconcile. If it's over, I feel like, yes, you're going to reconcile. And um, but try to be in this lighthearted energy here flirt be playful don't be too serious okay don't be like where's my ring kind of thing <laughs> just be playful be gentle uh, recapture the moments that you had when you first met when you felt like you're back to life and you you know you were positive and you had all these beautiful feelings be in that energy again in the light-hearted energy don't be like i'm sorry the video just got cut off where was i so I feel like with the, I remember every detail of that day, indicate that it's not just day, it could be days, maybe replaying conversations that happened between you guys, moments you've spent together, just very much in their head about you, about what happened between the two of you guys, all the great times you've shared, all the nice things you've said to one another, that kind of thing. And your person wishes things could have been different, maybe wish they could have, your person could be honest with you and tell you how they truly felt and how you didn't have all these obstacles in your path. I think that's why your person wishes things could have been different between the two of you. Why, why did things have to be so complicated? I think that's what the card is trying to get at. And I know I was a distraction from, you, from your pain. Again, like I said, with the judgment card, I think that you felt back to life. You felt this you felt great when you met them, you know, you had this um, a renewal of, you know, uh, maybe your faith in love was renewed because of this person. And yeah, so for some of you, like I said, it could lead to a relationship, like a serious commitment, something tangible here with the Ace of Pentacles. You just have to wait. If you really don't want to give up on this relationship, and and it's kind of con contradictory to what I always say, never wait for anyone. But here, in this case, if you want to really want this relationship, because we have the strength here, it's about patience. You can still busy yourself doing other things while you wait for your person to return. Because I really feel like your person is going to reach out and, be, and return into your life. This is not over. The cycle between you guys hasn't been complete yet. There's still more things to come in this connection. Okay? But when your person does come, come back around, don't be too serious. Don't take things too seriously. Learn to live in the moment. Learn to, you know, recapture this uh, fun, this lighthearted side of your relationship that you once had. Have fun with them. Don't have, don't go into this connection uh, back again with a lot of expectations. Don't hold strong attachment to the outcome. In meantime, as you're waiting, don't, don't just sit there, wait by the phone. That's not what I'm trying to get at is that just be open to them. But at the same time, don't go after them. Do not go and beg, call, text, and you know, trying to initiate that. Let them initiate, because your person is the magician. Your person is the, they're the one that's gonna take action towards you. You don't have to do that. They're gonna do it in their own time when they're ready, okay? Group three, thank you so much for watching. If you like the reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like the reading because it didn't resonate with you, don't worry. It just means this message, these messages weren't meant for you. Please feel free to choose group one or group two. If none resonate with you, just wait till the next video. I'm sending you much love and light. Until next time, take care. Bye.